Modeling with Algebra. I'm Anil Kumar and I'll take a few examples and show you a very efficient way of representing the situation with algebraic models. Here we have a question which says the length of a rectangular swimming pool is triple its width. The pool covers an area of 192 meters square. Determine its perimeter. So whenever you have a question like this, it's a good idea to sketch and then understand the situation. So we have a rectangular swimming pool. Let's say this is the rectangular swimming pool. Now we are given that the length of the rectangular swimming pool is triple its width. So let us say W is the width and L is the length. In that case, we know one relation, that is length is three times width. Now the pool covers an area of 192 meters square. So we also have the information that the area of this pool is equals to 192 meters square. So all this is given to us, right? Now we need to find the perimeter, right? So we need to find what the perimeter is. This is what we need to find. Now, to find the perimeter, we have to sum length and width of the rectangular pool and multiply by 2, since there are two lengths and two width sides, correct? So perimeter really is 2 times length plus width. So the strategy for us will be to find the length and the width and then the perimeter, correct? So this is how we should analyze the situation. Now once we have analyzed, then we can start solving the word problem, right? So defining the perimeters, we say let, now let always defines perimeters. First statement should always be a let statement defining perimeters, the variables in this case, and then we'll try to find out equations to relate them. So we say let L and W be length and width of rectangular swimming pool, let's say in meters. It's a good idea to introduce units along with it, right? So now we can develop the relations between these variables as per the given question. Now the first statement, the length of the rectangular pool is triple its width. So we get length equals to 3 times width. The pool covers an area of 192 meters square. So area equals to 192 meters square. So that is given to us. Now we need to find the perimeter. Perimeter, as we said, can, can be found for, by first finding the length and width. That is the dimensions, right? So let's relate dimensions of the swimming pool with area itself. So area is equals to length times width. So that is a relation which we know. In this case, since length is 3 times w, we can replace L with 3 times w. So we get 3 times width times width. So that is an expression which is in single variable, which is width of the pool, right? So that is 3w square. So we get area of the pool in terms of width. Now there is only one variable to solve. We know the area and so we can solve for width, right? So substitute area 192 in the equation area equals to 3 times w square and then solve for width. So we can divide by 3 first that is width square. You can use calculator at this stage, right? And then 3 goes 6 times 3 6 is 18 so you're left with 4. So you get 64 is width square and that gives us the width of the rectangular pool. So let me write down the width of the pool here now. So width is equals to square root of 64, right, which is indeed 8. So width is 8 for us. Okay, let me just divide the page. Now, once we know the width, then we can use the relations which we wrote earlier. 
length is three times width right so let us call this as equation one this as equation two for better communication and here we have the value of width in equation three so let's just substitute w from three in equation one right so what do we get we get length as equals to 3 times w which is 3 times 8 and that is 24 okay. now the question is determine its perimeter perimeter let perimeter be p is 2 times length plus width right that means it is 2 times length is 24 plus width is 8 and we can calculate this answer which is 2 times 24 plus 8 is 32 equals to 64. So the perimeter of this re rectangular swimming pool is 64. Remember to write down units in your final answer, right? So the answer should be a statement which says perimeter in this case is 64 meters. It's kind of very important to write the units. I hope you understand and appreciate that part right so that is how we should be solving problems so this area is our area to think about the solution right so that is the thinking block and once you have thought about the strategy then define your variables find the equations which relate to those variables solve them to get the answer and don't forget to write down complete statement to show your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.